Welcome everyone and thank you for joining us here on the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. My name is Louisa Havers and I help high achievers, entrepreneurs and coaches lift the lid on life and business. And we have something very special for you, our listeners today, with a training that we did recently on the Clubhouse platform. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with Clubhouse, it is a social networking app where people create rooms and discuss a wide range of topics. And because it's delivered direct to your mobile device, you may notice a difference in audio quality, which we're hoping doesn't take away from your listening experience. What is important, of course, is the content that we're sharing. And I invite you to be intentional with what you wish to receive from listening today. How do you want to feel after you have listened to our session? For more information on how you can join us on future Clubhouse meetings with me, Louisa Havers, be sure to check out the show notes below and we will see you in the Clubhouse. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. I'm so excited because I have the incredible Sylvie Barr here. Sylvie and I have actually known each other for a number of years now. We actually met through, I was thinking about this, we actually met through a mutual dear friend of ours who I, I met her, lovely Claire, on a train. <laughs> so shout out to our mutual friend, Claire. Um, and so I love that we're connected through, um, through that. And I wanted to, by way of intro to you, so everyone can get to know you, um, and as I welcome you here to share your bio. So Sylvie has over 25 years of marketing and branding experience, and she set up her own business after various roles in purpose-led organizations like Cafe Direct and RNIB. And her business, Holisto, was actually born out of a crisis, a personal crisis. Um, in 2015, she had burnout after she realized she wasn't listening to that the little voice within that we all have when she was out of alignment with her values. And so she, she did a stop take, focused on home life, started doing some freelancing. And then in 2019, Holisto was born. Now, Sylvie helps business owners grow their business the way Mother Nature taught us wholesomely and sustainably oh yes please and <laughs> Sylvie helps people who want to start their own business as well as busy owners who need to help help to reset their business post all the all lockdown things that we've all been through so a huge welcome Sylvie I'm so excited that you are here <laughs> thank you Louisa thank you it's a pleasure and an honor to be with you today Oh, wonderful. Well, I know that your story will really resonate with so many people out there. And I just mentioned it um, in, in passing in your bio. But I'd love to hear, tell us a little bit more about, you know, what was it that led you to starting your business? Okay. Well, as, as you mentioned, you know, it was born out of a crisis. Um, and, and really, that was like, you know, looking back this this so gentle, well, not so gentle at the time, but it was really the universe of saying, that's it, you know, um, this is, you know, you need to stop, this is, this train is going nowhere, or it's going really on the wrong track, and um, that's something that, um, you know, um, I got the time to reflect on uh, during my recovery, and the creation of the business, um, as you said, was, um, didn't, you know, sort of start straight after uh, the recovery. I did a bit of freelancing. I did some volunteering. I was trying to, you know, find my feet mm -hmm. uh, because I had that burnout. I tried to to help people who had, you know, mental health, um, you know, issues and stuff like that. But I went back to to the business uh, idea of, you know, sort of branding and marketing because at the end of the day. I love it. I just enjoy <laughs> that. It's just, you know, um, it's something that, that I'm really passionate about. Um, it's just that um, the circumstances in which I found myself after those uh, many years and, and working as an employee were no longer fitting mm. uh, my uh, personal uh, circumstances. And that's where the rub, you know, sort of was created when I had, I had that burnout. I... I really, um, you know, wanted to find and was craving that balance between uh, having a really wholesome family life. Mm -hmm. um, I deeply care um, <laughs> about, you know, sort of my lovely daughter and I wanted to be there for her uh, when uh, she was about to start secondary school. And um, 
because she has Down syndrome, this is not as simple as, mm. um, you know, uh, any kid who's, you know, finishing primary school and is about to start secondary school. She she needs a bit more, you know, sort of wrap around care in terms of taking her there. She can't take the bus by herself and so on and so forth. So I was really like facing that conundrum personally. Of how can I be here for her? Because childcare, like, you know, nannies and all mm. minders where she was before, uh, was no longer, you know, uh, available to us. And, and, and so the personal side was really strong. I want to be there for her. But at the same time, I want to do something that I'm passionate about. And, you know, this sort of aspect of helping people um, in the brand genesis, in the creation of the brand is really something that I got, um, yeah, really into over the, the years. Uh, I started more on the marketing side of this, um, you know, sort of uh, type of uh, activity. But then branding was was very much yeah my calling because it's it's really that that creative aspect mm -hmm. in terms of how you bring that uh to yeah to life and and how this is you know mirroring the creation of the business mm. so by by creating my business and being in you know in the driving seat i could I could, you know, sort of really satisfy both sides of, of the equation, the personal aspiration and the professional aspiration. It's so important because um, that's who we are, isn't it? We need to be able to have that balance across the whole. Mm -hmm. um, and often, um, I think so many of us, I've had burnout as well. Burnout comes off where we're, when we are living out of alignment, something has been sacrificed in our, in our lives. Um, and often it's this commitment, you know, we're high achievers, we want to work, we want to give it our all. And so we're focused on the career side of things, we're working all the time and somewhere there has been a, perhaps a sacrifice for on our own health, on our family values, yeah. um taking care of ourselves as well just thinking I'll just do that one more thing yeah, um, exactly. and it takes a toll doesn't it yeah and, and then it's it's when you start entering that really you know wrong side of the spiral mm -hmm. because if you don't nurture yourself you don't do your self-care if you don't live your values if you don't you know sort of yeah sort of live what you aspire to then you become less performant yeah. at work and you become uh you know less focused and so on and your yeah the quality of your work tumbles down as well and then and then yeah you end up <laughs> where nobody wants to be <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly <clears throat> but i think it's such an important topic to to talk about so that thing you know like with mental health we don't want to be brushing it under the carpet because then anyone that's experiencing or going through that that those dark moments feels like it it can make it feel like there's a a pressure not to speak out or to say actually do you know what hang on I am going to I need to take a pause and have the courage to do like what you did and to take stock and go actually no more of this <laughs> we're going to redefine and uh, create my create my life again um to, so that it is in alignment with you know all that you treasure yeah and totally and and also as you say to pick out that's why i made it very open and and very you know uh <laughs> up front um when i talk about you know yeah. who i am and what i do and how i created the business because it's not you know it was not just like oh my god i walk in the park since you know i graduated and la la la, la and now i've got my own business look at me woo woo <laughs> Really like you know sometimes things you know and 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 business you know owners they they we all go through challenges some mm. of us you know um it's uh, before the business is created like what well, some of us it's like well they're very clear because i've always admired people who you know have sort of from a very young age say no i'm not going to work for anybody else apart from myself but they, they, you know, they experience other types of challenges. Mm. And I think um, what I wanted to, to reflect in, in the story of my brand, um, the brand of my business, Olisto, is, is based on, on that honesty and that authenticity that, you know, um, things happen and it's not always, you know, so rosy. <laughs> but the, the important yeah. thing is, is to, to learn from what happens to us, I think. So important, so important. And I know that leads us really into the, the sort of theme of our conversation today, 
Um, because I know authenticity is so important to you. And we were reflecting the other day uh, in in our calls that we're seeing a lot of brands out there that where people are perhaps mimicking or mirroring something that they can see is working for someone else. So they're taking the essence of that and thinking, yes, that's going to reflect who I am. But that we can feel the sort of the misalignment with actually this has got somebody else's energy on it, you know, in terms of the way I speak, um, rather than it being really, you know, a solid foundation for that person. How how important um, is it, you know, from your perspective to get your brand right in those early stages of business? And um, I know that you, you know, have a a recipe for success. <laughs> yeah, well, basically, um if I can, you know, so I'll give two little snippets of, mm. of things to remember. The one that uh, I always say to my client is that brand and business um, are really two sides of the same coin. Mm. You know, you cannot, or, you know, if you think you can, it's it's really a bad idea to, you know, self so say, okay, I'm going to develop my business on that side and my brand on the other side. And I'm you know, sort of see when they can marry and, and so on and so forth. It's it's really two sides of the same coin. And and so brand basically comes from an old um, Scandinavian language. So before, you know, Norwegian or, mm-hmm. or Swedish and so on, the Norse language, and it just means burn. And so basically brand is, and that was uh, a term that... Um, uh, an advertising guru sort of coined in the, the 1950s. I don't know if you watch Mad Men, the series. <laughs> I just love no. it. <laughs> it's a way back. I don't even know if you watch. I think I was on Sky. I don't think I was on Netflix. But that's really the sort of rise of the advertising industry mm. and, you know, after the war in America. And it's the story of people on Madison Avenue. And, and it's, it's fascinating. Um, and uh, it's really that brand is, you know, like a branding iron in, in you know, mm. sort of cattle farmers is the impression that you leave in people's mind. Mm. So it's not just a logo, it's everything, every interaction that people will have with your business will form what we call a brand. So it's not just a logo, it's, it's not just, you know, a piece that you would have written or an interview that you would have given or your website and so on. It's really like all these pieces and that forms that jigsaw and that image in people's minds. And so to be able to do that, you know, to solve Tech 5 and, and really spend the time, you know, at proper time at the beginning of uh, your business is is really valuable because that's gonna over the long run save you lots of time Mm. because you're gonna get it right maybe not first time but you're gonna be very close to you know Mm. um, what really chimes for you and it's also gonna save you a lot of money because and that, you know, when you're a new business, you, you want to invest in, in, you know, your business, mm. of course. But at the same time, um, it would be better if you <laughs> didn't, you know, waste it on things like six months or one year down the line and say, oh, my God, why did I do this? <laughs> and, and so if you, if you do it uh, from that authentic place and you ground the, the brand in yourself, you, you actually, you know, sort of create that authenticity because you don't have to sort of pretend that you're someone else mm. or that, you know, that the brand that you're creating is, is something else because it's really rooted in yourself. And, and from um, another benefit point of view is that we're all unique. We all have uh, a formidable, you know, unique mix of skills and talents, personalities, values, and all these things create a unique imprint. And so if you create your brand and you grant your brand in that unique imprint, by definition, you're going to stand out uniquely because there is only one you. <laughs> It's like your yeah you know, your business fingerprint, isn't it? You know how we always say that everyone's fingerprints are, are so different. It's being able to have that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's the the magnetism, isn't it? When everything that is that is you is infused into how you're showing up for your business. Um, yeah. Like and I love that bit about the brand and the burn. I hadn't thought of that before, and it's like, of course. It's a uh-huh. mark, isn't it? In yeah. a positive way rather than in a painful no, way. No, no. <laughs> 
but it is that's making your mark and so people know exactly what you stand for they can feel the values that ooze through everything that you do yeah um being able to have that I think you're absolutely right it's, it's certainly one of the first things I did when I was setting up my business I went I didn't know you then but I went to a branding uh expert and had, you know yeah. booked them for like a, we had a a three month con- um, sort of period of a three three month program that I worked with her in to create create my brand and the shape of my brand and to, yeah. to get everything set up so that I could just go oh okay yeah. here we are world we're off we're ready we're good to go so yeah and, and, and in, that, right. you know, in that exercise because you are so you know sort of in flow with what you've created because you know it's your it's yourself you know, you, you naturally attract the people that you're going to enjoy working with or serving. And that's another, you know, big benefit is that people will naturally feel drawn to your energy, the mm. people that you are here to serve, because they will, you know, there's going to be that recognition and say, oh, yes, I want to work with this person. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. It is. It's that 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 magnetism so so exciting and I truly believe that's where if we are all showing up with as our authentic brand we are going to attract the right people which makes it easier (laughs) when in the land of marketing you know so that our our person our ideal client can find us amongst the the noisy social media land (laughs) well that's the thing is because you know over the past two years it's that's been mostly where we could interact mm. so it's a busy place now so it's really <laughs> important to you know sort of make sure that you you yeah you show up in in that way so that yeah. otherwise it, it's gonna feel really grinding <laughs> mm, mm, exactly so yes being your authentic self so it's being your, your highest level version of yourself isn't it infusing that throughout all aspects of your brand and um, you know being able to that's the fun bit I, fun bit around branding I think around the creativity side of things around the images and the logo and stuff but often people think that's it rather than all the, the, the thinking and the alignment that comes behind that creative side of things yes. yeah and yeah. I think I guess you know the other benefit um, that that bring is that when you've got that clarity about what the brand is when you are uh, in a position where you know, you want to brief someone to create your um, your assets, your visual assets. So be it, you know, a logo, a business card, uh, a website, um, the tone of your voice when, you know, you're doing a, a podcast like, like you are, uh, you know, everybody has got a different way to engage with people because they've got a different style. And if you are clear as to what you stand for and, and who you are, then you can encapsulate that and when you engage with those third party suppliers like a, a website designer a graphic designer a PR agency and so on and so forth they've got more chances to get you mm. quickly your brand quickly and then come back with um, what you ask them to do you know the right way first time or or in the you know maybe one or two iteration and then it's nailed whereas if you arrive then it's, it's not so sh- you're not so sure so you come to them and then they say so what do you want and then just and well do do a website for me and so on and they're gonna say yeah but what do you want to say yeah. or what did it and then it becomes a very fraught relationship mm. because um you are frustrated with uh, the supplier the you know the website designer say for, for argument's sake and they are frustrated because they'd love to help you but they don't know where to start. Whereas <laughs> when you've got that starting point, then that really sort of gets the whole thing, the relationship, and then the energy that comes from that relationship produces again something far more, you know, fit for purpose and also beautiful because it's mm-hmm. infused with that, you know, that good connection between you and the person that you brief so true so true and I think that's particularly for people who are new in business they really um can start to appreciate that when they've got all the foundations in place like that you've you've laid out um 
and particularly those that have been further down the road and might not have got things in place are going yes I hear what Sylvie's saying I wish I had set it up properly properly in the in the first place and of course our brands we grow don't we we want to we we may evolve beyond the current version of our brand and that's where you can come in and help people as they're growing into that next reiteration and realigning you know who they've become and you know whatever they're if they've got a new business that they're adding on to their yeah. assets and 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 all you know because of um well you know it always evolves that that's something that um thank you for for pointing that out um you know you've got two big things your mm-hmm. environment evolves like you know what we've experienced in the past couple of years you know uh, i probably wouldn't have you know sort of had my facebook groups and stuff like that if we had carried on you know without lockdown um but then on the other side, because the environment is changing, yourself, you're changing, and your life circumstances, be they, it's not just your business circumstances uh, that make you change, but it's also your personal circumstances, you know, all that mix. And so the core of yourself is going to remain the same, but, you know, the manifestation of it will, will slightly change. And that's interesting. One of the... Uh, you know, the things that I do in my method for, for grounding the brand in, in people's selves is, is to, you know, inter- interrogate their, uh, their personal values. Mm-hmm. And I really did the, um, you know, I, I use a tool for that. I, I have a little, you know, sort of, uh, well, not little, it's, I'm, I'm using a, a mm-hmm. but it's a free survey anyway. So it's mm-hmm. um, to, uh, but it, they are very good at, at what they do. And it's, um, it's to test your values. And uh, last time I did it was pre-pandemic and I just read it, yeah, sort of a few days ago and the values have shifted and it's yeah. really interesting that um, the, the sort of more, yeah, sort of uh, heart-centered values have, mm. have been boosted more on the, in the top five than, they were there, they were in the top 10, but so, so that gives me an opportunity to sort of say, okay, you know, my brand is still very much what it is, mm. but the um, the articulation of it and the manifestation of it and the messages are going to be tweaked. So I'm going to tweak those those messages but to be, again, more in alignment with the version of Sylvie of 2022 as opposed to the version of <laughs> Sylvie of 2019. Oh, thank you for speaking to that because I'm sure that will resonate with so many people because, well, none of us predicted a pandemic or maybe people you know some people knew that it was coming of course um but it's the impact of it of, on on you as an individual and with all the different experiences people have had um over that period of time of course it's going to have an impact on your value so that's just a a huge takeaway to consider for everyone as they've some people have had to be really creative with how they're offering their their businesses um like a forced creation of <laughs> how are we going to do this or we'll to completely change how we're delivering our services so that we can still meet people's needs in a way where you've all got to stay at home <laughs> yeah. um, is, is phenomenal what people have, have achieved and, and obviously great sadness for many people as they've had to say goodbye to businesses that they loved as um, they might not have adapted into the, yeah. the the world that we've been living in for for a period of time. Sure. Tell us about, I know that you very generously have a free gift for, for our listeners. Do you tell us a little bit about your free gift? Well, the free gift is, is basically um, a template that I created based on um, the method that I'm using uh, to, you know, tease out and, and, and yeah, sort of run the, uh, the brands of my clients uh, into, into their self. So, it's a it's a downloadable um, you know PDF and it, it takes you to that uh, series of, of question in which um, you know you 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 start shaping your brand um, with um, things like your beliefs, your values, your vision, your mission, uh, your purpose. I mean, we've heard a lot of the world mm-hmm. purpose, haven't we, over the past couple of years. So I, I just explain a little bit of each of these uh, components and, and invite people to, to answer it for, for themselves so that they, they start yeah, getting on that journey of an authentic brand. 
Oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much. That's such a generous gift. And I encourage everybody to download it. Um, how, Sylvie, how can people stay in touch with you and, uh, and reach you? Uh, so basically, you can find me while well, I'm a member of your group, The Art of Alignment. Uh, and uh, my website is uh, olistomarketing.uk. Uh, you can also find my Facebook group, uh, which is called Grow Your Authentic Brand with Olisto. Or you Google Sylvie Barr and I'm sure you know, you'll <laughs> find me <laughs> over, over there. Um, because yeah, it's it's you know there are, there are not many people called Sylvie Bar. <laughs> <laughs> You're unique. You're unique. You branded yourself well, Sylvie. <laughs> That's the beauty of marrying a Glaswegian when you are a little Frenchy from the north of France. <laughs> That's wonderful. We'll we'll pop the links that you mentioned below this recording as well on the on the website page so that people can oh, click you. the link and, and come and find you. Thank you so much. I could chat to you forever. Um, <laughs> but thank you for joining us today. And thank you to all our all our listeners um, for joining us and looking forward to connecting with you again. Yes. Thank you for coming thank on, that. Sylvie. Thank you for having me. Bye for now. Bye-bye, lovely. And thank you, everybody, for joining us. Until next time, sending you all lots of love and appreciation for being here and for being you. Namaste. Thanks for listening to the Infinite Prosperity podcast. And if you like what you've heard and want to know more, please go to louisahavers.com. We just appreciate you so much. So thank you for listening and hanging out with us. If there's anything that we can do for you, you can email us at louisa at louisahavers.com. Let my team know if you have any ideas for shows that you'd love to hear or topics you want me to talk about. Really looking forward to hearing from you. All right, that is it for this week, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for today. Looking forward to connecting with you again. Until next time, namaste.